The biggest challenge in creating this space is space and more specifically storage. With a studio, when, when someone walks in your door, they see everything, right? So it's really about finding how to store your things while also concealing them or maybe storing them and displaying them in a way that's creative. I installed these IKEA Besta cabinets on the wall and I put them up near the ceiling and, and they're white, so they just kind of like blend into the wall. On this side of the entryway, I originally had a bench here that just wasn't super functional. And so I ended up using one of these, um, two of these actually just unfinished wooden cabinets that are from Ikea. And I had some leftover black paint. It's been really, really great for storage. The big aha moment was when we were walking through an Ikea and we were just sort of browsing and we stumbled across these little shoe compartments. I have a whole drawer devoted just to crystal light, which is right here. Honestly, anything you can imagine. Yeah. Sunscreen. If there's something in the house that we don't use, it sticks out like a sore thumb. One of our favorite DIYs is our shoe cabinet turned dresser. We spent a weekend revamping the piece. It was white before, and we bought these like mother of pearl knobs from Etsy. Mm -hmm. Then we got metal sheets of aluminum from Home Depot. Yeah, it's like actually, I think a siding. So we unrolled it. We turned this into like a little uh, wood shop working studio. And most people come in and they're like, wow, where'd you guys get this? This is so cool. And we're like, it's a it's, shoe rack. It's an Ikea shoe rack. <laughs> In the first closet, I have all of my tops hanging up. And then on the bottom of that closet, I have all of my shoes. When you move over to the middle closet, I've decided to keep some of my longer hanging items there. I do have a small unit where I keep all of my handbags, purses, belts, wallets, other little accessories and odds and ends, and some workout stuff at the bottom. On the top of that closet, I had enough space for one shelf. And on top of that shelf, I keep lots of decor and entertaining supplies. And then in the very last closet, I have multiple drawers that pull out on the bottom. They're essentially wire frame drawers and everything in there is work-related supplies. And then on top of that, I have one pull out shelf and it has my printer. So I, again, use that for my business. I keep all of my paperwork and lots of tools like handheld tools, like my drill. Again, all work-related supplies. On top of that, completely not work-related, but I have all of my pants hanging on extremely awesome pants organizer. Our kitchen is really small and we don't have a lot of storage. So I found this rotating spice rack, but I painted it orange and now I put my glassware in it and it can rotate around and it's the perfect storage hack for me. This piece used to be a bookshelf, but when I moved in here, I knew that I would need some extra space for cushion stuff and I knew it would be the perfect place to display kind of like my pretty dishes and really save my kitchen cabinets for food and more unsightly things. <laughs> The movers were unhappy with me putting it in there. They, they thought that I was making a mistake and that people wouldn't be able to fit in the kitchen, but I make it work. I would say my proudest kind of storage solution is my giant vintage stove. You might think at first like, okay, it's this huge stove. It's literally 400 pounds. It's impossible to move. But what I decided to do after I somewhat impulsively got it was I totally deep cleaned the inside of it because it was a working stove. So it kind of smelled like fish. Wallpapered the inside of the walls and then have been using it as a bar cart. And then one of the drawers is like a kind of COVID staging ground. So I have all my free COVID tests. So if someone comes over and they need a test, I can just pull open my stove and hand them one. My dad is a handyman, so I call him the handy dad. We hung and painted cabinets. I got the cabinets on Craigslist and I painted them and I added new hardware and then suddenly I really liked them. They were cheap. I mean, I think I paid $25 for them. Storage for clothing uh, is pretty unique in this space. I don't have a typical bedroom closet, so I had to buy basically a high boy dresser is what this is called. And then my silverware is in the long drawer, which probably would have had people's ties. And then I have 
my electronics in the bottom drawer. So that's where that is, stuff that I need readily accessible. For me, the trick is sneaky storage. Sneaky storage is using things that are really aesthetically pleasing to hold all of your junk. <laughs> So I've actually utilized the space behind my couch for storing my wine and my canned goods. I have a bench behind the sofa, which I use the underneath to sort of hide things. My broom and Swiffer, stepladder, all that is actually behind my couch. Because the place is small, I needed to be smart about it. So the pieces were supposed to look nice, but also to be functional and to have hidden storage inside. So for example, my bed has a hidden storage below. I usually store my sheets and also old jackets, like seasonal clothes. And in my sofa, I usually store my shoes. Biggest splurge was the couch, which cost about $900 plus shipping. Although it wasn't my dream couch uh, when I found it, I felt like its style worked really well with everything else that I had. It was like exactly the right measurements that I needed, which was kind of crazy. The best part was that there's actually storage in, in the cushions. So I was able to store winter coats and things I don't use very often there. I have a little ottoman that I've had for multiple apartments, but the lid of it opens up and I keep all of my canvas bags that I use for shopping, duffel bags that I use for vacations, extra backpacks, things like that. Everything that looks like electronic, I hate. That's why I made a frame for the TV. And I build a case for the printer so it doesn't look weird to have a printer under the couch. Also, I have uh, speakers that doesn't look like speakers because I painted them and put fabric on them to look like nice boxes. I hide the router inside the basket. I like to hide things in my house, so behind there is my trampoline. 